Good evening. Welcome to Crash. I want to thank each one of you that continue to watch these videos. Um, it amazes me how many of you choose to watch them live and many more of you watch them later on. Um, we're, we're gonna, I'm going to do something a little different now with, uh, with, with Crash. Um, hopefully, hopefully soon. Good morning, good evening, Grace. I trust that maybe Manny and Ray are with you. Uh, I'm, we're hoping that maybe life can go back to normal soon. <laughs> we forgot what normal was. Um, we even forgot to have fun. Uh, when we used to meet as a group, we'd play games and we'd have fun. When we'd meet with Collision, we'd have fun. Uh, part of the uh, of the service. And, and I miss that. And so we're going to do some of that tonight, okay? Uh, I'm probably going to make a fool of myself tonight. I'm going to sing a couple songs. I, I, I was thinking maybe that's why we call it Crash, so you can see me burn and crash. Um, so let me open with a prayer quickly. Father, I, uh, I thank you for every young person that watches this, and I just pray, God, that they will continue to want to to watch these videos, continue to want to grow in their faith, that they won't forget about us. They won't forget about crash. They won't forget about collision. They won't forget about their leaders. And most of all, they won't forget about you, God. Amen. Uh, let me just read something here in Psalms. It says, Show me, O Lord, my life's end and the number of my days. Let me know how fleeting is my life. Let, let me let me know how uh, how quickly my life can 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 go. Uh, most of you are young, and you and I know that you just sit there and you think, boy, you got your whole life ahead of you, your whole life ahead of you. But the question is, do you do you? When I was young, there were a couple of uh, really popular singers. Now, when I grew up, your age. And I used to listen to their music uh, an awful lot. I would sit there and strum my guitar and, and listen to the record and, and sing these songs. I'd listen to the 45 records. You don't even know what that is. Uh, and, and so I'm gonna sing the first one. It was by a young man named Buddy Holly. Uh, he was destined to become the next Elvis. He was so popular. He had a song named Peggy Sue. It goes something like this. If you knew Peggy Sue, then you'd know why I feel blue now, Peggy, my Peggy Sue. Oh, well, I love you, girl, and I love you, Peggy Sue, Peggy Sue, Peggy Sue. Oh, how my heart yearns for you, oh, Peggy, my Peggy Sue. Oh, well, I love you, girl, and I miss you, Peggy Sue. Peggy Sue, Peggy Sue, pretty, 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 pretty Peggy Sue, oh Peggy, my Peggy Sue, who oh, will I love you, girl, and I need you, Peggy Sue. <laughs> we used to have that song memorized. And then there was another young man about that same time, Richie Valens. I know you guys don't, you young people don't know these singers. Your parents probably don't even know them. Uh, maybe your grandparents do. Richie Valens, I'm going to do a song called Donna, but maybe some of you remember La Bamba. La La Bamba. Well, this is a song that, a big hit that he had uh, when I was growing up called Oh Donna. Oh Donna, oh Donna, I had a good Donna was her name. Since she left me, I've never been the same. Cause I love my girl, Donna, where can you be? Where can you be? Oh, Donna, oh, Donna. Now, here's what I want to talk about. These were two extremely successful singers when I was young, okay? Uh, they were both killed in a plane crash. They were traveling from Des Moines, Iowa to Fargo, North Dakota. Now, North Dakota is where I grew up, in the middle of the winter. 
and they were killed in a plane crash traveling there for a concert. Buddy Holly was only 22 years old. Richie Valens was only 17 years old. Now, they were convinced they thought they had their whole successful life ahead of them. We all did. We thought Buddy Holly was going to be the next Elvis, and we knew Richie Valens was going to be extremely popular. We thought they, they thought they had everything going for them. I've already told you about Jonah, who was riding a skateboard and was killed. He says this, Do not boast about tomorrow. For you do not know what a day may bring forth. The, 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 those people that died young, they couldn't boast about tomorrow because tomorrow never came. I, I'm sure that Buddy Holly and Richie Valens and the big bopper was on the plane with them were, were, were thinking about tomorrow, thinking about the next concert, thinking about their next record, but tomorrow never came. I'm sure Gianna was, Gianna was talking with her dad, Kobe, on the on the helicopter, they were going to her one of her games, and and I'm sure they were talking about her future, but it, future never came. Uh, it, it, it's taken away from them just like just like that. Matthew, six thirty four says this. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. So each, each day has enough trouble. Each day has enough trouble. Uh, we need to concentrate on, on, on tomorrow and today. Take care of today. We're, there's, there's no guarantee we were even going to have tomorrow. And then Proverbs, Matthew 24, 44 says this. Says this. Um, so you also must be ready. You must always be ready because you don't know. You don't know when Jesus is coming to get you. You have no idea when Jesus is coming to get you. He says, he says always be ready. Always live today. Live today as though you were going to be standing in front of Jesus tomorrow. You hear that? Live today. Live such a life today. Live such a holy life, such a godly life as though you were going to be standing in front of Jesus tomorrow to be judged. If you, if you can have that mentality, you'll, you'll walk a straight road. James 4, 13 through 15 tells us this. Now listen, you who say today or tomorrow we will go and do this to that city, spend a year there, carry on business and make money. Why, you do not even know what tomorrow will bring. What is your life? You are a mist that appears for a little while and then vanishes. It's here today and then gone tomorrow. Instead, you ought to say, if it is the Lord's will, we will do this or that. If it is the Lord's will, we will do this or we will do that. So live every day. Live today, live tomorrow as though you were going to be judged by Jesus the next day. If you can keep that kind of mentality in your head, you'll walk a straight road. Now, I'm going to sing another song just for the heck of it because he was on the plane with Buddy Holly and Richie Valens. It was the Big Bopper. He was called the Big Bopper. And uh, he had a hit song. So let me close with singing this song and have a little bit of fun here, okay? Oh, this is the Big Bopper speaking. You go, oh, what I like. Chantilly lace and a pretty face and a ponytail a hanging down. I give a little walk lock, make a little talk talk, make the world go round, round, round. Ain't a nothing in the world like a big eyed girl. Make me act so funny, make me spend my money, make me feel real loose like a long neck goose. Hey, baby, you know that's what I like. <laughs> Had a little bit of fun tonight, okay? Hey, let me close with a prayer, and then God bless each one of you. Father, thank you for just being able to have a little bit of fun, uh, God, uh, but at the same time, live life so seriously as though we were going to face you tomorrow before judgment. May we walk that straight and narrow road, and we pray this in your name, Jesus. Amen. Hey, God bless you all. Have a great night. Have a great, great night. Uh, keep praying that we can get together soon as a group, okay? God bless you all.